Now, going to the next three games, we have Dragon Quest IV, Dragon Quest V, and Dragon Quest VI. Now, these three games, unfortunately, I've still yet to get the Super Nintendo remake, or actually no, the PlayStation remake, or the original Famicom game, but hopefully in time. Anyway, these three games are also their own kind of like trilogy. Not necessarily, you know, one after the other kind of thing, but rather a rather they they focus around Zenithia or, you know, and the special equipment the Zenithian equipment. I know I'm probably butchering that if I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> and and the the heroes that have to acquire these these weapons and armors. Now, the dealing with the Dragon Quest Four. Dragon Quest Four is a really 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 cool game because it's divided up into chapters, which is something I always really like. And you go through and you play different characters that you know eventually all come together for the main hero, which sex you can choose as male or female, and. A bad thing about that, however, is that, um, you're playing, like, the same kind of, like, you're beginning over again. You know, you play through Chapter 1, which is really, really short. It only has Ragnar, who, I don't think he's on here, but he's got awesome helmet and stuff, and he's, you know, just a really cool guy. And it's only maybe an hour or two, and then you go into the next chapter and you have to restart over and you have to start from level one, which I don't mind as much. However, some people kind of think it's, you know, you have to do that like four or five times, and you're just like, really, come on, let's just get to the thing and just, you know, let's go on. However, I, I personally enjoy it. Some people might not, so it's just how it is. What's really nice is that with each chapter is different world music, and it's just, uh, Ko what's his name? Koichi Sugiyama, I believe? Koichi Sugiyama, Koichi Sugiyama, Koichi Sugiyama. How about I look at the CD? Sugiyama Koichi, yeah. Sugiyama Koichi does an amazing job with the music. He's such a fantastic composer. Really, really good. And so, different sort of world music, different battle themes at, uh, for certain, some of the different chapters. And it's, it's well, not some, it's only a couple of like one of them with the uh, the two twin sisters has a really sweet battle thing, and though the standard battle thing is kind of eh, the 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 uh, sisters battle thing is it's quite nice. Now heading into Dragon Quest V. Now this game is pr is really good as well, and it deals with your main dude right there. And he has, and it starts him off as a six-year-old kid, and he is traveling with his father looking for his mother. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail with it, simply because I, I, I'd rather, you know, I, I don't want to get into too much detail with the game, simply because I don't want to, like, spoil too horribly much. I know I kind of said something about three, which maybe, you know, if somebody were to play it and didn't know it, they'd be like, oh, okay, mm Anywho, so you're traveling with your father looking for your mother. Uh, as I was saying, uh, you start off as a six-year-old kid, and you progress through, and you age from a teenager to a young adult, and you eventually have kids. And well, um, what's the difference between the uh, Super Nintendo and the DS remake, as there was also a PlayStation 2 remake, was that uh, you could actually choose to marry three different characters in the DS remake. Um, and each w different wife that you had, she had her own attributes and skill set. Or, like, like sh maybe like one wife would be better at casting magic, attack magic, while the other wife might be better at casting healing magic, or one wife might just be a straight-up brutal just, you know, berserker kind of thing and just straight up knock some ass. 
on the floor. Now, <laughs> okay, and the last one I'm talking about for right now, and this really kind of quick punch through, you know, um, review, is Dragon Quest VI. And Dragon Quest VI is, is, is a very different kind of game. Um, considering what you have with Dragon Quest IV and V, it, it, it's got a different vibe to it. Now, I don't mind it so much, but it definitely was not my favorite in, in the, the second trilogy. It, it was not so bad, but um, it just kind of... It, 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 it just didn't draw me in, I guess is the best word for it, as the other two did. Now, it's... Um, it does it does different things with uh, the um, kind of I don't want to say it without spoiling things. Um, let's just let's just keep it simple and say that there are two two separate <laughs> worlds, and you have to travel between two worlds to stop. Mudo, who you actually are is shown fighting at the opening sequence of the game. However, you get rocked. So, yeah. But needless to say, uh, you run through and you once again try to catch up with him and fight him and hopefully rock his face the next time you fight him. So, I guess um, just, uh, real quickly, if I could, have a little drum roll or something, and I'd like you to take a quick think as to what might be, my, out of the six that I showed you, what might be my favorite Dragon Quest game in the series of these six. Now, I'll give you a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, now, my favorite in the series so far is a toss-up. Well, not necessarily a toss-up, but it, it's almost divided. Dragon Quest III is, a really, really, is one of my favorites, and Dragon Quest IV was really, really good too. However, Dragon Quest V is probably my favorite of the six Dragon Quest games that I've been able to fully play through. Now, uh, that of course could change when I get through 7, 8, 9, but until then, Dragon Quest V is by far one of my favorite games. Uh, one of my favorite games, and is definitely my favorite Dragon Quest game that I've played so far. It is just... It, 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 like, how it goes through and does some of the just subtle things with changing the character's title. I know it sounds really stupid, but changes the character's title uh, uh, of, like, the main character is he goes from, you know, being Pacris's son to, you know, different, just different titles throughout the game. It, it just, it pulls at you. And the fact that you're, you know, you're searching for your mother and all these things happen and just one roadblock after another, it's a very, very, it is in, like, as what RPG should be. It's a very epic game. And I don't mean epic as in, you know, sweet kind of thing, but epic as in, like, Odysseus, you know, he's going and traveling, and that kind of epic, you know, old, old story, kind of traversing the, the, the world, you know, for your mother, and whatnot, that sort of epic, and that is why I would say Dragon Quest V is probably my favorite Dragon Quest game. It also has some pretty badass battle music, so I'll send some links for that too.